You know, I love the chapter on um, Wilda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, maybe I'll let you tell the story, but it's someone that your mother meets uh, late in life, and it was just such a great uh, example of the God of surprises. Can you tell a little yeah. bit about uh, Wilda yeah. and who she was? Yeah, yeah. I just, I am just so joyed to talk about that, and it was, it was such a surprise, and I wanted to include that chapter because I, I think, see, my mother was 70, um, when she met this friend, my dad died, and then my mother moved from the farm of 49 years into a town and bought a condo. And next door to her lived a woman that she just met a few times, you know. And my mother's name's Hilda. And so, lo and behold, she meets Wilda. So Hilda and Wilda become best friends. I just love this. And they, they looked alike. They were about this, they were short and they were pretty stocky and they wore these polyester, you know, suits. And and I loved what happened with each of them. You know, Wilda was Protestant, and my mother's, you know, really baptized uh, from birth Catholic. And Wilda really opened up my mother's world in two ways. Um, she helped her be much more open about her faith, much more comfortable about it. And she really helped my mother be more in touch with her emotions. My mother always kept those pretty tight, you know. And Wilda was the opposite of my mother. She talked about her husband in the care center and she cried with my mother and my mother always held her tears back. She taught my mother how to pray out loud. I mean, I was so startled the first time I was sitting at the dinner table and saying, I'm the nun, I pray the prayer, you know. And I heard this voice. I was like, wow, where's this coming from? <laughs> it was so wonderful. And, and my mother really helped Wilda because she was a good listener. And so Wilda had a companion, you know. And the two of them, honestly, Wilda would knock on my mother's door and she'd take her on these mystery tours. And my mother would never know where they were going to go. And so I was a little worried about where they went, out the hills and all over. Uh, and then pretty soon my mother, like parts of my mother that had never been lived, came alive. Wilda took her to symphonies and plays. My mother had never done any of that. And, and it was just a great friendship. And so I hope that, you know, when people read that book and they think, oh, here I am, 70, 75, and I'm alone, or my life is all behind me. You know, I, I love what you said, the God of surprises. We never know, you know, who's going to come into our life. And if we're open to it, wow, it could be, could be wonderful. Exactly, yeah. especially when it comes to friendship. Mm -hmm. You know, at any exactly. time of our life, someone yeah. can change us. And mm -hmm. I, I found that just a delightful chapter. You, uh, I think you talk about them actually going to car somewhere and oh, yeah. wondering whether or not they're going to come home safely or not. And oh, yes. They were in wintertime. I mean, they do all these <laughs> things, you know, and it, it, children always worry about their parents. It's not funny as we get older, we worry about them. But yeah, she told she just, yeah, you know, we, we were, it was really a lot more icy than we thought. And we almost went over this hill or whatever. I thought, oh, dear God, you know. <laughs> but I never said anything because I thought, I want them to enjoy what sure. they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Thank you.